we found this community, we knew that that we had the kind of first piece that made sense was that we wanted a very small group to work with that we could have a, an ongoing relationship with. You know, as an architect designing in the first world in, in non-disaster situations, you base most of your work on a systems that we assume function and function well. In a disaster situation, you get to the point where you have to acknowledge that those weren't functioning. We needed to find out what the community needed. Um, and it seems obvious, but it's not happening often enough in post catastrophe context. To solidify that and to kind of quantify that, we decided to do a community design charrette. Dans le plan d'aménagement de la matrice de la, c'est là nous préparer, c'est là mairie à désigner pour nous capable mettre marché qui dehors à l'entrée à dans la rue. Nous pas capable sur les cons. The construction's natural state is anarchy. To me, it wasn't shocking to see piles of rubble everywhere. It, it was more shocking to see the fact that there was no concrete plans. One of the main things that we are focused on is sort of economic development and commercial development. It just wasn't enough to build housing for people, they needed a place to work. So imagine this up on a roof, okay. at, at, at it tilts, right? Mm -hmm. And then this fits on this piece under here. All could be made here in Absolutely. Haiti. You have the labor force that's already here. I wanted to make sure that I was applying local materials and local construction methods. Si comme si l'am ka fè un kay pou sa pou kontre mwen. Yo ta vini pou konstruy la, men di comme si l'am ka prezante tèt mwen kòm yon boss. My personal motivation was just coming here and kind of seeing the the architectural disaster that that this site was and that I could make a difference here. I could make a difference for 60 kids. Two decades ago, I worked for a water company that had, you know, storage tanks and pipes, and I'd go out as a water treatment plant operator and fix things like that. So, it'd be great to do it here. Actually, what I think really meant a lot to people was that we came back. Um, I really felt a an even deeper warmth this time because people were like, oh, you didn't just show up, do one thing, not even finish it, and then leave. Like, this is a continuing relationship. You said you would come back, you came back. You said you would continue building, you continued building. And that's really awesome. That was an amazing feeling. <laughs>